Got the world record holder again with me. Brought him up to the the mainland. Out and, of my uh, territory. Out of his territory, but we're back in the clear lake, the secret lake that nobody knows about. Brought, we even brought a scuba tank, but we got stuff. We got guns this time. We ain't messing around. We're shooting big carp and drum today. We're also going to fill the cooler up with some big bluegill because they're delicious. We're going to use the carp for gar bait and the drum are delicious. We're going to do a shore lunch. It's going to be an epic day. So y'all stay tuned, enjoy, and uh, hopefully we can get some epic dive footage. Braden can go down super mega deep. So hopefully he can go down there and get some, some footage. See what kind of Loch Ness monsters there are on this lake. There are gators in this lake, but not really where we're at. So... Hopefully we don't see any gators. I did have a big water snake swim over the top of me the other day, but they're harmless. So y'all enjoy. I can't wait. I'm so pumped. Let's get in the water. All right, guys, first drop of the day. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, talking over this video so y'all can so y'all can know what was going through my mind and I can kind of explain some different things. So this spot is not super deep, 15, 20 foot, and uh, it has a couple ledges. It was the first spot of the day. It has like three ledges that go off into this deep hole until you hit grass. There's a little scattered grass right here where I'm at, but uh, come down instantly see a drum next to a bass and uh, got the first drum of the day in the first two or three minutes on the first dive so pretty pumped on that that they were still in the same place that I had left them Super happy that uh, Braden was able to come and bring some good guns. I'm ordering some good guns. We have a, you'll see later in the video, but we named the gun the weenie. Uh, not very powerful at all. And, uh, but it does, it does get the job done, but you'll see it later in the video. But super happy Braden brought these bigger guns so we can get down there, make some longer shots and uh, actually get these fish. So Braden's filming me with his big camera on this dive. We wanted to get it kind of a second view of a, a drum shot. And they were everywhere this day. So go down, make a dive. This is a little deeper spot than the last dive. Uh, Braden went down first. I came in over the top of him and just so happened to be a drum away from him. So you can't really see it, but you can see me shoot right here. Uh, kind of a quartering away shot and uh, shot him in the top of the back but nonetheless got another drum in the boat and uh, y'all be sure to go check out Braden's channel he's got a bunch of kill shots on his video too not sure when he'll be posting but he'll be linked in the description uh, so y'all go check out his channel and give him a follow This is actually a different fish, I just realized. Uh, oh no, no, it was the same fish, I forgot. I didn't brain it and I got it off the shaft and it swam off and I was able to reload and shoot it again uh, before he got away, he was pretty hurt. So um, this is me coming up with that fish when Braden was filming. Actually, this is a completely different fish. I lose track of all these fish <laughs> There's so many drum this day. It was crazy. And I'm not showing you guys every dive. I I probably did 50 or 60 other dives that I'm not showing. Came into this little shallow spot. Let's see if I could... I had seen some grass carp in here. Uh, a few days before this and I was seeing if there was any more that would come out of these weeds 
uh, but didn't end up seeing anything, just some bass and some bluegill. Hey, did you shoot? Did you shoot? Did you get one? You saw one? Braden dives down right here. You can see he gets out of sight. He's off that second or third ledge. Uh, we're still at the first spot. You can see his fins. You'll see him come up here in a minute. Got a nice drum on that dive. It's pretty crazy how the water, you can't see down to the bottom and then once you get down 15, 20 foot, uh, everything kind of clears up once you get that backdrop of the bottom down there. That's a good one. Where was he? Just down there on the bottom. Was there any more? This was solo. It's kind of far out there. And just so just cruising again in the shallows, dive down. Saw some really big bluegill, so I thought I'd make a shot and get one in the cooler. Hadn't seen a whole lot of action as far as carp goes. And I was waiting to go to another spot to, to get a few more drum. Shot this bluegill and somehow it tore out. Uh, probably should have let go of one of the bands before I shot one of those, but shot them with, <laughs> with two bands spot. and just was too much power. Absolute epic first dive. What you got, Braden? Got a few drum. A few drummy a drum. Too. I got a couple in here. There's a couple under the ice. Keeping them nice. Drummer good eating boys. That's a oh, dude, yeah. that's the biggest one of the trip so far. There's a ton yeah. down there too. Alright. Good eats. Time to go to a new spot. We're gonna come hit this again. I wanna hit it when the sun comes up just to see if that spot that hole gets a little brighter but epic first dive it's uh let's see it's 11 o'clock so about all day Going after one more drum here. Making my way down. Start making my way down. You can kind of see the bottom and then once you drop in, you can really, everything kind of clears up. Like I was saying, that backdrop of the bottom. This drum came in to check me out. So I took advantage of that stone shot on that one. Uh, and after this, it was I, was, I was done. I had enough drum in the box that I wanted um, and now it's just to hunt for a big buffalo. Absolutely smacking the drum. But I think Braden got him a big old buffalo. I missed one with the pole spear. I handed Hayden the spear gun just for a minute and took a dove and... and I broke one off. Oh, dude, that's a giant buff. Yeah. Dude, high. how fun is that? <laughs> that's Two sick. Two cruising in. This is the bigger one. Oh there's, oh, there's two? Yeah. Dude, that's so cool. Poke the bigger one. Here, let me get your GoPro. All right, guys, lunchtime. Hayden's out there pole spearing some perch. Got us a little burner. Got some foil. Got my old timer cordless. We're going to clean up one of these drum and do a little shore lunch.
the drum are not game fish in Texas, so no limit, no size restrictions, and they're pretty dang good to eat, so. Just like that, cut these ribs out. like that I'm gonna get one more and we'll wrap them up in foil and dress them up and start cooking that second one that you shot bigger drum? Yeah. Right, guys we got our drum fillets laid out on some foil got some critter glitter Cajun only fitting make it nice and spicy we'll wrap this up and throw it on our little grill Won't take long. All right, taste test. The guys are out spearing. They're gonna eat some when they get back in, but let's see what it looks like. Uh, probably need to go a little longer. Alright. Ready to try the drum. Whew. Hot, hot, hot. One out of ten. Whew. That Cajun got that kick. It honestly reminds me of it really really reminds me of this dish we eat in the caimans with onions and bell peppers and scotch bonnet peppers and it tastes just like the snapper that we eat in the caimans it's a thick firm flaky meat i'm telling you guys this is delicious white firm flaky meat i'm gonna give that a solid seven six for a freshwater fish, that's it, it. Really is awesome. We'll get the guys over here to get to do a taste test and see what they think. Bueno. All right, Hayden's taking a quick break from fishing. Get you a bite of that. Oh yeah, it's delicious, dude. Is it? Oh yeah. Fresh caught drum. Mmm. Got that kick. Oh. It's good, isn't it? Dude, that is money. Rate it one out of 10. Dude, I'm not a big drum eater, but I'm gonna give that like an eight. Maybe it's because we've been swimming all day, but it's freaking it's good. good. We got a cooler full. We definitely got a cooler full. All right, all right, Braden's in the boat. Got him a big old bluegill. Oh yeah. Get you a bite of that. Oh, it's got some row in it too. Yeah, I just noticed that. Split her open. All right, here we go. First bite of Gasper Goo ever. Ever? Ever. Pretty good. Good, huh? It's like a freshwater snapper. Yeah. I mean, I can eat the heck out of that. Yo. Got that little kick from the Cajun. That's the kicker right there. It's good, huh? Seasoning. Well, good thing you shot 10. You can take them home and <laughs> eat them. That's solid.
So earlier in the day, I had talked about the weenie, and uh, Hayden was using it. Me and uh, Braden had rigged it up the night before this trip, and you can see all the drum down there, but I'm just looking for a big buffalo. Uh, Hayden went down on, on one of the new spots and smacked a big buffalo, and it just completely ripped the weenie into two. The, uh, the shaft went with the fish, and uh we were done with the gun for the rest of the day we thought we'd find that that carp again maybe with a shaft in it but uh turns out we didn't so made a few dives and somehow or another i found the shaft and uh so we, we have the shaft back for the, the little weenie gun uh it's just not powerful enough to to get these big buffalo so this was towards the end of the day uh, we were all wore out and I really, really wanted to get a big buffalo. It was a deeper spot, one of our deeper spots and, uh, dive down and out of nowhere, see a tail of a big buff. And I knew right then and there, uh, this was my chance. So took the shot and, uh, didn't have a pass through, uh, but made a pretty good shot on it. I just came up from a dive, saw a big carp. Holy smokes guys just the end of the day and I got me a big old carp We got a Box full we got gar bait. Look how big that carp is got a bunch of uh, good eats on the uh, Drum but that's gonna wrap this video up you guys go check out Braden's channel Braden Sharon. He'll be linked in the description one day we'll, we're trying trying to talk Hayden Joe into <laughs> into doing this game. Y'all go uh, yep, one day. One, one day. One day. One day he'll get going, and y'all have to go over there and check him out. But epic day. That's all I got to say. Y'all keep it real. Support the channel, Moltman.net. Link in the description. Shirts, hats, hoodies, spices, and Moltman Bait Co. Baits. Until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit thumbs up, and remember, eat good.